Hello, I'm Larry Goldstein. I'm a USCCA certified handgun instructor. Let me give you a little bit of my background. Ten years ago, I started shooting handgun competitions. Four years after that, which was six years ago, I was involved in an incident where I had to use a handgun to protect myself and my wife. So early one morning, I was standing, loading my truck to actually go to a shooting competition, and I heard a noise, thinking it was a squirrel up on the roof of my house. And so I just continued um, loading the truck with my guns and gear, and all of a sudden, I was rushed by two individuals with a long barrel handgun, which was pointed right at the, my forehead. It was placed against my forehead, and he said, do you know what this is? I said, uh, yes, it's a gun. He said, um, yeah, we want your money. I reached in my pocket, did not have my billfold. He said, I'm going to kill you. I know you live in this big house. You've got lots of money. I said, well, I don't have it with me, so let's go find it. So they lead me into the house, into my bathroom, right past the bed where my wife is asleep, and into my closet, I still could not find my billfold. So I thought, I've got to get them out of the house. So he has the gun to the back of my head, has the back of my shirt collar, and he um, says, well, let's go. I said, I've got an ATM card in my truck. I'll take you to the bank. So they said, let's go. So as we're going out, one of them sees my wife's purse sitting there, reaches in, takes money out of her billfold, puts it back, and then we go to the truck. Well, when I open the door of the truck, I look, and I have a gun sitting in the side compartment. And of course, they don't see it, and I stand in front of it. So they both sit in the back seat of the truck, we drive to the bank, I take the ATM card, I withdraw cash, and as we finish that, they said, now we're gonna tell you where to go. And I thought, oh goodness, they're gonna take me out and kill me. So as we're driving, they say, we wanna to go to the block behind your house. So we drive there, and as we're going, they say, and we're going back and get your wife. Well, with that, I said, I've got to do something. So I kind of glanced back. They were not really paying attention to me. I pick up, get the gun out of the side compartment, slip it under my leg. We go and they tell me, stop right here. And I thought, oh goodness, they're gonna, they're gonna shoot me right here, they're gonna do something. So he said, get out of the truck. So I get out of the truck, I get my gun, put it in my hand, down to my side, step back, and they had not opened the truck door yet. The minute he opened the truck door, I started shooting. I shot him several times. The other individual that was on the passenger side jumped out of the truck and started running back towards my house. Uh, I thought, oh, the house is wide open. My wife's there asleep. I've got to do something. So the person I had shot fell across the back seat. I drug him out, jumped in the truck, and ran, uh, drove after the second individual. When I got around the block, I saw that he was jumping into his SUV, and I fired a couple of shots at the SUV. Later to learn, I hit it three out of three times, um, and he drove off. The police picked him up uh, two days later for something else. As it turned out, he was the second individual. I was able to identify the truck. And three and a half years later, he went to trial and was charged with home invasion, kidnapping, and armed robbery. And is serving 80 years in prison. He can get out in 40. So, this is why I encourage people to be comfortable with their gun, know how to use it, and know when to use it. So I became an instructor so I could teach people these skills.